My name is Andrea Jones, and I am a pregnant African-American woman in Atlanta, Georgia. Right now, I'm currently in Clarkston, Stone Mountain, Georgia, on Memorial Drive, North Harrison Central Drive in that area. Um, and I'm pregnant, and I shot a white male in America, my child's father, who was abusing me, and I am being left outside um, on the streets. And um, Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus because my mother um, told me to plead the blood of Jesus because when I was in the jail on the charges, pregnant, everybody in the country was setting me up to be murdered. And my mother knew that I was pregnant and that Austin, the white male, my child's father was abusing me and my son. And she knew that it was not right for the country to try to set me up to be murdered um, in a jail cell for protecting myself. And she showed me her coming out of the house with Austin uh, well, when I was asking Austin to leave my home, my mother uh, was with me in the spirit, and she said she understood why I was asking him to leave my home. And then she showed me, well, she was with me in the spirit where they were leaving me outside in the middle of the night um, in the country of America. And um, she saw that there were traps um, of witchcraft to harm me um, about the shooting um, because I shot Austin in the leg while he was attacking me and they were trying to murder me pregnant in the jail cell and took my son and threatened to harm him. And so my mom was with me and she saw the traps of them leaving me outside by myself and there were people who were creeping in on me in the spirit with my mother there. They were coming from all directions like to come towards me and they were doing the spiritual witchcraft of the white witch um, where she um, had gotten these people to surround me outside by myself. And it was um, horrible witchcraft that was coming from the devil himself, but it was a lot of spiritual energy coming from the white witch, um, having put these individuals up to coming around me in the night by myself. And my mother uh, was showing that they were plotting on my image um, to try to make me look um, not pretty, basically. Um, and was staged to have me outside. And she broke the mirror in the spirit um, that that wasn't most important when people are leaving you outside and trying to set you up to be murdered um, and you're pregnant. And so, um, and then the level of how they took my son. But the main thing that my mother was showing me was they're setting you up um, outside by yourself at night and then people are coming around and so she showed the uh, there was a mirror the Holy Spirit showed a mirror um, of the people who were trying to set me up to be killed to try to have me fixated on my image while they're trying to set me up to be murdered um, they want me to be focusing on oh is my hair pretty enough or do I look pretty enough and they're setting me up night after night outside to be murdered. And so my mother broke the mirror and I am looking pretty hideous um, outside. But the most important thing that I need to remember and realize is why they're setting me up outside and that's to be murdered. And um, it doesn't really matter uh, what anybody says about the way that I look. But another thing, I don't know, I just felt so much more comfortable in the darkness telling y'all this um, story, but I'll just keep going in the direction that I'm going in. So um, my mother has shown me that they were laying traps for me outside 
um, in the night. Uh, well, God showed me that part, but my mom showed me, was with me while they were surrounding me outside and they were trying to creep from out of the darkness um, in groups. And um, I started pleading the blood of Jesus, um, just pleading the blood of Jesus. And surprisingly, the people who were after me in the night they started pleading the blood of Jesus as well. And we all started pleading the blood of Jesus while we were outside, while uh, they were being put, while they were put up to trying to harm me in the night. Turns out they also needed Jesus um, in their life as well. That when I started pleading the blood of Jesus, the people that were creeping in to harm me um, uh, the Holy Spirit took over them and they started pleading the blood of Jesus. And I don't know what they were going through in their lives, but um, that was the vision that I had of that. But God showed me that they were laying deadly, fiery traps for me outside. Um, and he showed me this from Texas um, and where I came from that they were laying deadly traps for me outside. Um, he showed when a man named James Devon Harris had kind of knocked me off of any sort of financial uh, stability um, to try to protect myself. And he had me in an apartment where we were supposed to be living together um, and being boyfriend and girlfriend. And it was my first time really doing that. Um, since I had been released from the jail, just like really trying to do a relationship, and he was setting me up, he kept trying to stage altercations to have me outside of the apartment. And um, God had woken me up one, uh, one day I had fallen asleep and I'm pregnant and I was pregnant at the time uh, with the same baby. And I was lying down and the Holy Spirit just came over me and he started praying in another language and lifted up my body. And then he showed me outside at nighttime that James was trying to stage for me to be out of the home um, and that they would, con they would have fiery traps laid for me outside at night. So the traps that God was showing me, they were stacked on top of each other and they were deadly traps. Uh, they were hill fire traps. And that was the point of them leaving me outside. And it was so wicked uh, what they were doing uh, that God had to uh, come down and uh, get over my body and lift me up um, from the bed uh, that I was lying down sleep pregnant on and he was letting me know that you're not safe with this person. Um, you're in a trap and it's a reason why he's trying to stage altercations with you to make you run off and leave the apartment and be outside in the night. And now I see what God was showing me because they continued uh, to do this, to have me outside in the night. and. God was showing me hiding um, from the police, uh, that there would be uh, some sort of police siren or uh, some sort of law enforcement presence that should not be bothering me, but that they would have these other people who were in trouble with the devil and who were in trouble with uh, the police that they would have them laying these fiery traps stacked on top of one another that were deadly for me, that could kill me um, and uh, be hell for me on earth. Um, and that uh, they, they were the ones who were really in trouble. And God said that they would fall into the traps that they set for me. Um, and it came right out of his mouth and he was very angry. Um, and they are doing this. Uh, they are leaving me outside pregnant um, in the middle of the night. And they, oh my God, oh my stomach. 
they are leaving these very deadly traps and the baby is still alive it's like the baby want me to let y'all know <laughs> i'm still alive in here <laughs> So um, they are leave, lay, um, really laying these daily traps. And so I have been carrying this baby for 36 months or longer. And it is very sad for criminals and police to want to set the pregnant lady up. Um, but God has already shown it to me. And I'm out here. And I'm living through the experience of what he showed me. And I have to trust in all that he said because he showed that there were people trying to hand me over to the police and that leaving me outside at night had something to do with it, um, that they were trying to hand me over um, into a very deadly, fiery trap um, and that I'm pregnant. And so then the Lord, uh, he spoke against it out of his own mouth and he said uh, that they would fall into these deadly fiery traps that they laid for me. And I was very afraid because it involved death um, upon me if they caught me um, or if they handed me over um, into this deadly trap and being with child with them wanting to hide my pregnancy. So um, that is very about a shooting um, where I shot my child father and they took my son from me and left me pregnant and people are trying to hand me over into a deadly trap um, and in, in the middle of the night. And they're doing it in the daytime as well, but the Lord showed specifically these hours uh, would be very trying and hard for me, um, not understanding why my rights were being violated, where I could not get into the shelter at nighttime. And I understand it's because they're laying the traps for me that the Lord showed me and prayed because that's wrong to do that to a pregnant woman, but it's because they are laying deadly traps and it involves the devil um, and him just wanting to have me hand it over um, to him. And it was a deadly trap where uh, the devil wanted to harm me. And so God was against that plan and he was very angry at all of the individuals who uh, agreed to do this to me. And he uh, was just showing me that it was very wicked, that they already had it planned out that the traps were already very deadly, that they would be stacked on top of each other, meaning that there would be one person that will come and try to lead me into a trap to be killed and harmed. And then after I made it out of that one, I will fall right into another one where there would be another person that would try to target me outside by myself and say, I'll help you and lead me into another fiery deadly trap. And that all the organizations and family and friends and people would leave me outside so that I could keep going with someone who was trying to have me killed um, in a fiery trap. And the Lord uh, was very powerful um, with his prayer uh, and his, his, his prayer life. Uh, it must be amazing to be God and to still pray um, such powerful prayers over your children. Um, but being how wicked this is, if it was not for God uh, praying that prayer over me and this baby, um, then I would be so frightened, I would be yelling, I would be screaming, I would not know what to do. Um, but because he has given me that much hope um, to say that they would fall into the traps that they set for me, and he said it specifically that they would, I believe him because I don't think he would have took the time out of his life or, you know, out of, you know, just taking the time to um, just come down and pray for me like that um, if, if he did not care. Uh, so he did show me that they would do it. So I have to go through it and I have to endure it. Um, and I'm just praying for my deliverance. Um, but he showed that I would be hiding and that I would be afraid of the police. Um, that I would not want the police to bother me because I knew that the traps that they set for me and that God said that I would not 
um, be the one falling into the traps, but that the people who they were trying to have harm me um, will have to fall into the traps. So that's very scary. Um,